The vision of the Archdiocese of Bombay is to spread the love of Christ through word, worship, and witness. This is precisely what the Archdiocese of Bombay has strived to do. As soon as the lockdown was announced, the digital arm of the Archdiocese of Bombay, the Catholic Communication Center, sprang into action and provided the technical and logistical support to His Eminence Oswald Cardinal Gracious, Archbishop of Bombay, to stream the Eucharist on a daily basis across the Archdiocese. Parishes were encouraged to connect to their communities through digital communications, and guidelines and directives were given by the Cardinal to ensure that social distancing and liturgical norms were followed. Holy Week services were streamed online on the Archdiocese of Bombay YouTube page from the Cathedral of the Holy Name and gave the faithful an opportunity to participate in the liturgical services from their homes. St. James in his letter says, Faith without action is empty. The witness of faith is seen in concrete outreach carried out by the Archdiocese. The Center of Social Action the CSA, has spearheaded this outreach. From the data collated, 82 parishes and 27 religious institutions have reached out to over 67,000 families with almost two and a half lakh beneficiaries of various communities. Community kitchens have been working round the clock at Our Lady of Mercy Church, Pokhran, and at Infant Jesus Church, Dumbivli and have fed over 5,000 people on a daily basis. Parishes have provided essentials and packed meals to various target groups in their respective areas. The parishes of Our Lady of Mercy Church, Pokhran, Our Lady of Fatima, Majiwada, and St. John the Baptist Church, Tani, have joined in collaboration with the support of the Archdiocese of Bombay, the Tani Collector's Office, the Tani Citizen Foundation to help migrants and daily wage workers stranded in the area by setting up food stalls and distributing food packets. More than 20 volunteers are helping out in this venture. These are the migrants who are struggling to get back home, cramming into trucks and any kind of transportation that will help them get out of the city. The parish priest of Holy Cross Church Kurla, along with parishioners who are healthcare workers, published a short film addressing the concerns about the rising cases in the locality, while also showing their support for various government initiatives. Small Christian communities have been an effective group that have provided grassroots communication to their respective parishes who have then quickly responded to this crisis. With the lockdown in full effect and extended to the 31st of May, parishes and organizations within the Archdiocese of Bombay continue to provide assistance and support to those in need. One of the particular hard-hit groups that have been focused on are domestic workers. Domestic workers are one of the most affected and vulnerable sections of society. They do not have any legal protection, regulatory norms or social security. While the government has launched economic relief packages, the situation of these people is worsening as the lockdown continues. The National Domestic Workers Movement, headed by Father Felix de Souza, the parish priest of St. Anthony's Church, Wakola, has responded to the crisis and provided assistance to over 4,500 domestic workers and their families affected by the pandemic in 16 states to the distribution of food and grocery items, financial support and access to government packages. The church in the city has responded to the call to be urban missionaries 
as numerous men and women have reached out to help those in need through food, rations, and sometimes by just offering a listening ear. From the Wasowa Relief Camp for Migrants to reaching out to the rural poor in Mahad, Mangao, Alibag, and Kordlai, the church has not shied away from its responsibility to reach out in loving service. The church has always responded to the call to be a witness of God's love. This call is not only one that is executed by the religious, but one that is executed by every baptized Catholic. This is the call of Christ, and the Archdiocese of Bumpe wishes to thank all our lay collaborators for giving of themselves in the service of all. We will continue to strive and ensure that all in need will receive the courage and strength to survive with dignity during this pandemic. God bless you all.